We are very excited because we are preparing for our second Kairos conference in May. So getting ready for that, the end of March, March 20th, we are starting uh, Freedom Basics classes. It runs for four weeks and then our conference begins uh, on May 4th. It is a Friday and May 5th is Saturday. During the classes, we uh, begin to talk about um, our desire to hear from God and how we're wired for that. We talk about our identity in Christ and then we talk about the obstacles um, in our life that prevent us from uh, experiencing freedom in Christ. I know freedom ministry for me, I knew the Lord, but I did not understand His character or His nature. And I think a lot of that was because I didn't feel worthy. Um, I wrestled with a lot of insecurity. I questioned not only my calling, but who I was. Believing that I was insignificant had me in this cycle of bondage. It was It is affecting how I was treating other people, the walls I was putting up to keep people out, um, trying to reject others before they can reject me. I didn't, I didn't understand the importance of knowing who you are as a child of God. Like absolutely everybody else, I arrived in adulthood with multiple things that affected my life, um, wounding from my childhood, which was very messed up. It came from the fact that I grew up in a home where my parents were divorced when I was six, um, and it was messy, and my mom worked constantly, and my dad uh, pretty much divorced us when he left. And so I had this feeling of, I'm, I'm just not good enough for anything or for anybody. Nobody wants me. I was in church every Sunday and I heard how much Jesus loves me. And I believed that, but I couldn't live like that. I still lived with this cloud that was always hanging over me, feeling like I have to prove that I'm good enough. I have to work for uh, acceptance. I have to earn love. For me, freedom has been um, debunking the lies that I don't belong, that I'm not good enough, that I don't have what it takes, and going back in there and replacing those lies with God's truth. Kairos was my time to block out the world, the teachings alone answered a lot of questions that I had for the Lord, but then the worship and the prayer time for me was when the Holy Spirit just came in and just knocked all of that out of me. I felt like Jesus just like took a little toothpick and just kind of scraped out all the areas that the enemy had wedged himself into and, and got the little things that were sitting there that I didn't even know were there. When you read scripture and scripture says we are supposed to be free in Christ, what is that? It's not only knowing who God is and what He's done for me, but it is the ability to be able to believe it enough to where it changes how I live. My greatest desire is that everybody gets the opportunity to allow God to tell them who they are and to allow Him to strip away these things that we carry, that weigh us down and that prevent us from being free. I mean, that's the beauty of God, is to see how He's able to take us in our brokenness and our despair and turn into something beautiful and use it. It's, it's, it that is the gospel.